here are the major differences, in case you hadn't noticed already, between the two versions of the sermons. Number one, the authentic sermon obviously prescribes wife beating, which the sanitized sermon doesn't. Number two, the authentic sermon describes women as domestic animals, whereas the fake version describes them as committed helpers and partners. The equality of mankind is not mentioned in the authentic sermon, but rather only the brotherhood of Muslims is described. Number four, the Islamic pillars of five daily prayers, fasting, zakat, and hajj are not mentioned in the authentic sermon. Number five, the declaration that no prophet or no new religion will come after Islam is not in the authentic sermon. Number six, there is nothing in the authentic sermon that talks about passing his words on to others who will understand it better than those who directly heard the words from Muhammad. On a side note, I also want to point out that the language and terminology used in the fake sermon was not consistent with 7th century Arabia. First of all, black people were called slaves or abd, not blacks as they are in the sanitized version. Secondly, in the 7th century, Arabs did not use the word white to describe a race. Clearly, this fabricated version of Muhammad's final words was concocted to whitewash some of his earlier primitive commands and to falsely promote this sense of modern humanitarian values and to highlight Islam's five pillars which were actually overlooked in the original Quran. So please don't have the wool pulled over your eyes by the retelling of Muhammad's fake final sermon. Also, just to anticipate the usual Muslim apologetics, if you want to really clutch at straws here and claim that al-Dabari is not authentic enough, then please take note that al-Dabari agrees with Ibn Majah 1851, which as you can see clearly says that women are like prisoners with you. This hadith actually, funnily enough, also mentions women's rights in Islam, something that Muslim feminists love to talk about, seeing as though Muhammad was clearly the first feminist. So let's see what rights women are endowed with in Islam according to this wonderful hadith. <laughs> 